Hi guys, Elite here and I have a new process video for you and this is the first layout I created using the beautiful October kits and I gotta say it's also for me it's not easy to start with a new kit and you see I had this idea of using um, this beautiful paper from Crate Paper and then I felt so clever when I <laughs> cut it and saw that I can make a rectangle um, because that's a shape that is easier to use. But the problem is that I think I let this um, <laughs> brilliant idea um, really kind of cripple my process, I would say. I think that's a good word to describe it. Um, just because I really liked how it looked and I looked and I didn't want to cut it down and eventually I I cut it down and use it as a mat so you see less of that paper um, but it just works better for my design so I think in this video I really didn't edit I think I didn't edit anything out so you can really see uh, my process and how I struggle also sometimes. I mean, this is fun for me, so it's not a problem, but um, it doesn't come together super fast. And I end up changing the photo because um, I find a design that I like, but it doesn't really work with the shape of my photo. So I end up changing for a vertical uh, four by six photo as opposed to this one that is, sorry, I mean, uh, horizontal <laughs> photo like a, a landscape um, you know configuration instead of a portrait which is uh, how this one is set and it didn't really matter I mean I'm, I suppose I will um, scrap this photo also at some point because it's really cute but I was uh, going with my theme for the week which is family and gratitude and and yeah, so I wanted, uh, you know, some sort of family photo um, and just write about how thankful and grateful I am. So another idea that I really liked and I was like trying it, trying it, trying to make it work, but it just wasn't. It was to place that word thankful um, on the stripes. So you see now I decided, okay, I need to cut that a bit um, smaller. Um, but it's gonna get smaller. So I'm not sure what to do. I'm trying to look through the other products and I really had no idea where this was going. These are some um, leaves that I cut with my Silhouette Cameo. Um, we got in October, I think. I think this month or last month. I'm not sure. There are some fantastic uh, cut files, uh, exclusive cut files and uh, some of them were leaves and I cut them from a bunch of the pattern papers in the September kit actually but that kit also has um, some papers from the same Maggie Holmes collection gather so you can really um, you know pull your supplies from previous kits and um, they will coordinate beautifully uh, especially you know when you have items from the same collection so I was trying with those leaves and I ended up uh, not using them. Then I checked the um, my leftovers from the September kit. Um, I have a bunch of these die cuts from the Maggie Holmes uh, Gather collection left. And I really want to use them because they're so pretty. I just need more time to scrap. That's all I need. I just don't have enough time. <laughs> I have all these pretty stuff. I want to use them, but um, just not enough time. So yeah, first world problems right there. So I'm just pulling stuff that work with my color theme. I want color scheme. I want to stay with, um, you know, kind of soft pink and corals and um, that pop of black and white. I really like that floral paper that I have, um, you know, on my white cardstock, but no but. That's it. <laughs> so then I'm trying out this um, 
photo of my two girls on the swing in our garden and my husband uh, watching them and I really liked how the uh, horizontal photo looked like and I really liked how that um, circular die cut uh, looked on top of it and that is I'm not sure if it's from the October kits or the September kits I'm not sure um, maybe it's from the Dear Lizzie ephemera I don't know I'm sorry <laughs> check the website for <laughs> those details so I have decided to commit I uh, sewed on and adhered this gorgeous piece of floral and I just want to add a little bit of mi mixed media very very um, well, it's not super minimal but I didn't go too crazy uh, I started with some white paint I just want to soften the areas around my photo so I kind of check where it's going to be and I started with some heavy body white uh, acrylic paint by Liquitex and then I added a little bit of this lovely color I hope I show it to the camera um, this is also heavy body acrylic paint by Liquitex and it's just a beautiful color I think it's called light portrait pink or something but you can see that it's um, almost like a flesh tone like salmon I know you say in English salmon you don't pronounce the L it's kind of weird why don't you pronounce the L? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so now I have to let it dry. But because it's acrylic paint and because I used my palette knife to smear it, it's quite a thin layer. So I think I can manage to work with it without getting my, um, you know, fingers and papers too um, dirty. <laughs> and... Yeah, I ended up uh, really cutting down that first piece of pattern paper with those gorgeous stripes. I have another, um, you know, sheet of that pattern paper, so I'll try to figure out a way to use it in a way that you can see more of it. I'm just layering a few of the Maggie Holmes um, Gather ephemera pieces behind my photo. These are from the September kits. And then I decided I needed to add some splatters. So I'm using the spray that came in this month's uh, color kit. It's this beautiful rich gold. It's called, it's by Shimmers and it's a vibes. So it's like a shimmery spray and it's called Glorious Days. And then I added um, a few splatters from another vibes. Um, from my stash which is called pop art pink and it's just this really beautiful warm um, pink so it really goes with my color scheme and now I'm thinking about my title sorry about my head there just trying to line things up um, excuse the frizz <laughs> it's real life people so I'm going to use a couple of these gorgeous kind of rose gold uh, word stickers that came in the project life kit and they are fantastic you know they have like these big words and because these are kind of flat stickers uh, you can use them on your layouts or on project life kit if uh, cards um, like in page in pocket page protectors hi <laughs> so difficult with all these <laughs> tongue twisters Yes, I added some sewing. <laughs> I'm showing you. <laughs> Just the, sewed through the uh, words. I find that when you add your title like this and, you know, it's not super lined up and kind of on purpose and you have all the mixed media in the background, I think the sewing um, really adds that detail and makes everything look more intentional and finished. So... I know uh, people sew through their uh, thickers. Uh, I am a bit hesitant <laughs> just because I'm scared my uh, sewing machine will break. Um, but with these um, flat stickers, I felt brave enough to sew through it. So I'm using just a little piece of ribbon from my stash and this gorgeous tassel that came in the September kits. Um, these tassels are also from the Maggie Holmes Gather collection. And I just really, really wanted to use it. I can't believe I haven't used it in my September layouts. Um, yeah, I still have tons of stuff left from the September kits. And 
I yeah, I don't like it. I like to use up my kits before I get the new ones. Um, I just don't have enough time, <laughs> sadly. <laughs> I wish I could scrap all day long. That would be fantastic. So, um, adding some final touches with these rub-ons that came in one of the kits. <laughs> Either the embellishment one or the Project Life one. I can't remember, sorry. But these are lovely. I think these are also by uh, Jen Hadfield like the word stickers that I used and yeah I want to I really want to add that little love uh, rub on um, mostly because it's cut into a little um, piece and I know it'll probably get lost if I don't use it on this layout but I can't uh, find a place to use it on this layout so hopefully I won't um, lose it so I want to add some of these beautiful um, stickers these are clear stickers and they are by simple stories uh, from the posh collection and these came in the project life kit and i'm just going to add a few um, here and there and i'm also going to add my journaling and that will be it so the last thing i think i'll add is some uh, pencil lines everywhere I don't know it's this new thing that I have that I am adding to my layouts I'm not sure if I will you know look back at this trend and think and cringe and think what was I thinking but for now I'm really enjoying it it's a very faint subtle uh, accent and um, you know because it's like my doodles and my scribbles uh, I think it really makes the pages more uh, personal more me so I felt like it needed just a touch of something at the bottom so I added just a few scraps of pattern paper and also that cute uh, yellow puffy sticker um, that is from we are memory keepers honey I'm home collection I'm pretty sure and yeah that yellow worked that mustardy yellow worked really well with my color scheme and oh so then I added a few more puffy stickers and now I'm going to show you how everything looks up close um, lovely texture and colors so cute I love how the rub look on top of all those splatters and mixed media stuff and that's it for my layout so I hope you enjoyed this video please leave me a comment if you have any questions and I wish you a lovely scrappy day and week bye